Air fryer chicken breasts in just eight minutes is what we've got on the menu today. And this really is a lunchtime game changer, at least for me, because I don't like spending a lot of time making a lunch. If I'm gonna put together lunch, it's gotta be made in less than 15 minutes. And these air fryer chicken breasts are just that. Also, I love the fact that I can customize them. I can put any marinade or rub on them that I'm feeling like that day, and they turn out perfect every time. So with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the good stuff, make some perfectly cooked, air fryer chicken breasts. All right, first things first, while we prep our chicken, we're gonna preheat our air fryer to 400 degrees for five minutes. Then while the air fryer is getting warmed up, we're gonna add a couple of chicken breasts to a large plastic baggie, and then we're gonna use a meat tenderizer to tenderize the chicken. And trust me when I say this, don't skip this step. It is a huge game changer in getting your chicken to turn out tender every single time. And if you don't have a meat tenderizer, a rolling pin, or a bottle of wine, or just something heavy, Will work just as well to tenderize your meat. Anyway, once we've got our chicken about a half inch thick like this, we can start seasoning or marinating it. And I'm actually gonna use both of these methods for my air fryer chicken today. So as you're seeing here, I'm starting with the marinated chicken. And really that's just gonna be as easy as adding one of the chicken breasts back into the plastic baggie, pouring in some Italian dressing, and then working that Italian dressing into the chicken. Then while that's marinating, I'm gonna make a super tasty dry rub for the other chicken breast. So in a small bowl, I'm gonna add a half a teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic salt, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, an eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and some freshly cracked black pepper. Then we're gonna give that a mix until it combines. And when it does, we're gonna sprinkle some of it onto our chicken breast and then rub it into the chicken until we've got it well coated in the rub. So now we can give our chicken a flip and do the exact same thing on the other side. And at this point, all it's left to do is insert my meat thermometer into the chicken and get it set up to cook to 162 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reason I'm cooking it to that temp is so that the chicken will reach just over 165 degrees Fahrenheit while it's resting. By the way, I know I'm gonna get some questions about the thermometer I'm using. I'm using the meter meat thermometer, and I gotta say, I'm in love with this thing. It is absolutely impossible to screw up cooking any kind of meat with this thermometer. So if you wanna pick one of these up, I'll leave a link to it in the video description below. Anyway, at this point, we're all set to get our chicken breasts into our air fryer. And to start, we're gonna cook them for four minutes at 400 degrees. Then after that amount of time, we're gonna give them a flip and cook them for another three to four minutes. Then we're gonna let them rest for just a few minutes before we cut into them. But you can already see without me even cutting into these, how juicy these chicken breasts turn out in the air fryer. With that said, I did cut into one of these breasts just to show you how juice they are on the inside. And I mean, just look at this. It is absolutely dripping with juice. So I definitely gotta get a taste of this. Mmm, that is perfectly tender, perfectly juicy, perfectly seasoned. Seriously, you gotta check out this air fryer chicken. It is so good and so easy. I hope you guys like it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. As always, the full recipe is in the video description below. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.